welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then my name is Becky. It is lovely to meet you. I post daily vlogs, lifestyle videos. Um, I do a few clothing hauls, meals of the week. Um, so yeah, just basically a lifestyle channel. I am a mum. I am a single mum to a boy who is eight years old. So yeah, lots of family content too. So I hope you enjoy watching this video. Today I am going to film another day in the life for you guys. So it is currently Saturday morning and I am at my mum and dad's house. So it is a weekend that my son Leo is at his dad's. Um, he goes there every other weekend. So I have come over, I stayed at my mum and dad's last night. We actually went out for dinner. We went to, to Toby Carvery. Um, I actually had a voucher for 50% off. Um, they emailed it to me and um, you had literally, I think it was like that week, it was ending yesterday. So we went to Toby Carvery, had 50% off, which is such good value. I think it worked up like five pound for um, the Carvery each per adult, which is just brilliant, isn't it? Um, so yeah, we went there and then we come back to my mum and dad's and we started a new series. We started Stay Close. Um, because we, so I watched Fool Me Once at home and literally binge watched it in two days. I just thought it was absolutely brilliant. Absolutely loved it. So gripping. Um, and my mum and my dad actually watched it at home too. So last night we thought we would watch another one from the same writer. Um, so we put on Stay Close and I think we watched the first four episodes. And yeah, I'm literally gripped into that now. I literally cannot wait to finish that tonight. Um, so yeah, we'll probably put on the last four episodes of that tonight so if you have watched stay closer let me know in the comments what you think obviously don't tell me what happens um in the end but yeah let me know your thoughts um do you know i've just realized there is two deers outside let me turn the camera around see there is actually more there's one at the top there you can see it's white bottom there is one following and then there's another one that just running out Oh my God, they're so pretty. My mum and dad are so lucky to have this field behind. There was another one in here, but I think it's gone now. You can see more into it, obviously, with the time of year where the leaves are gone. I think they've gone. I'm hoping I managed to catch them on the camera for you guys. There was three of them come running out. I literally just stood here. And I just glanced out the kitchen window and I could just see one stood in the forest. Um, but then I think it clocked me and then all three of them went. When I actually come over here last night, there was um, a big one out there. It must have been quite young because it looked like it was just getting its horns. Um, and I did manage to take a clip of that. So what I will do is I will insert that here now in the video for you to see. So today, um, it's just probably going to be a very chilled day. Um, so I'm just going to make myself a cup of tea and then we'll make some breakfast. And I'm not sure what we're going to do. I think my mum and dad were saying that they need to pop into town. So I may pop into town with them and have a look around. Um, apart from that, I'm not really sure. I wouldn't mind going to the range again um, to have a look. My mum and dad have got so many lovely things from there um, recently. I did pick up that vase with the flowers for my sideboard. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't mind having another look in there because the day that I did go in there, I literally popped in quite quickly to grab the vase um, and come out. But yeah, I wouldn't mind having a look in there. But apart from that, I'm not really sure. It's probably just going to be a very chill day. I feel quite tired this morning. Um, I did have a bit of a lay in. I think it's about half past eight now. Um, but obviously all week we've been up early for school and work. Um, my car actually broke down this week. Honestly, cars, when they go wrong, are such a pain, aren't they? So my clutch actually went in my car. 
Um, so on Thursday, I was driving home um, from work. Luckily, it was the day that I finished early, so I finished at lunchtime. And I was driving home, and I literally was probably two minutes from my house, literally round the corner, luckily. Um, and my clutch just went, couldn't get a gear. Um, and I was literally on like a T-junction. So I put my hazards on and Joe and you're like, oh my God, like, what am I going to do? But I was thinking to myself, at least I'm close to home. So like worst case, I, w I can walk home um, if I need to. And I do have AA. Um, but I managed to kind of get it into a gear and get it home. Like I said, it was literally just down the road. Um, so yeah, managed to get it home and I've booked it in, but I can't get it into a garage until next Friday. Um, so yeah, I've got this whole week without my car. Luckily, my mum and dad have um, a car each and I am insured on their cars. Um, so basically between theirs, we're kind of doing a bit of like sharing. So I think this week coming, um, a few mornings I will drop my mum to work so I can then use her car to drop Leo at school and go to work myself. Um, so yeah, it's just going to be a yeah bit of one of those weeks where it's kind of like here, there and everywhere. So I do want quite a chilled weekend. Um, and then hopefully on Friday my car will go in the garage, have a new clutch and we'll all be back to normal. Um, but yeah, when something, when cars are good, they're good, aren't they? And when something goes wrong, it's just a bit of a pain. Um, but yeah, I'm so lucky that we've managed to sort something out for getting to work and school next week. Um, so yeah, I am very grateful. So I think it's probably just going to be a very chilled weekend, pop to a few shops, see what's about, might go for a nice walk. It's not actually that frosty this morning. All week it's been really frosty. I've had to de-ice the car in the morning. Um, but yeah, it's not frosty out there this morning. I was quite expecting it to be all white. And obviously staying at my mum's and having the feel behind. It looks so pretty when it's all frosty. But yeah, love seeing the deer this morning. They're so lucky to see them out there. Um, like I said, we saw them yesterday. They come quite often. But yeah, so I'm going to make myself a cup of tea and then we will get some breakfast. Um, I will get my mum in on the vlog because um, I know lots of you watch her channel. So yeah, I'll get her in on my vlog today to say hello to you guys. Um, and yeah, we'll catch up in a minute. Let me go make my cup of tea. So just going to have breakfast now, we're going to have a cooked breakfast, so I've got some bacon, some eggs, some chopped tomatoes, some beans, and then in the air fryer we've got some hash browns and some sausages, so yeah, looking forward to this. How yummy does this look? So already and in the car now, we are heading off to town. My mum and dad here, do you guys want to say hello? Hi! So it's we're, cold. <laughs> we're going to head to town and have a little look around. There's not that many shops in there, so we may stop at maybe like B&M or something on the way home. But I thought I would take you along with us. So we started off in Primark. Um, most of their new in clothes was activewear and loungewear. Um, but I was mainly on the hunt for home decor. So I spent a lot of the time upstairs. So yeah, I hope you enjoy seeing what they had in my Primark. the stop for a tea and this lovely muffin it was so tasty 
and headed into H&M. They had some lovely ladies clothes and they also had some really nice kids clothes reduced which I show you a bit later on in the clips which I thought would have been lovely for Leo and we also had a look at the menswear. I love this outfit for Leo, it was reduced. Um, the only thing that stopped me was he already has quite a few shackets, but yeah, I love the colorway of this. stop was the range i absolutely love the range at the moment they have so many cool things in there these artificial trees were 35 pound um, i thought that was such a good price for what they are yeah loads of really nice home decor um, so yeah i hope you enjoy seeing what was in the range Final shop was Home Sense, and they had so many lovely spring and Easter mugs, um, and they were all about five ninety nine. Yeah, I absolutely love these. I thought these were super cute. Um, they also had these bunny plates, again super cute for Easter and spring. Um, so yeah, lovely home decor bits again. So we are now back from the shop. We are just at my house. Um, we went to our local town, but there's not a lot in there, is there? No, no. Literally, most of the shop, shops are shut. Marks and Spencers is gone. Um, yeah, there's not much left. Um, but they do have Premark and H&M. So we went in there for a look. We picked up a couple of things in Premark. Um, it wasn't much, though, no. was it? Um, that we'll show you in a minute and then we went to the range because it's just kind of like on the way out from the town we are absolutely loving the range at the minute aren't we so many lovely home decor items the more they, you look the more you see yeah you know, stuff you and really the first they had you. more they had more new things again this time mm. didn't they Definitely. so they had lots of spring yeah. things um i tried to take a few clips um which I would have inserted before this. So I hope you um, enjoyed seeing what was in there. They have these like massive, big artificial green plants. Um, and on the video, when I was doing it, I couldn't see a price on it, but they were, was 35. it 35 no, pounds? Absolute bargain. Like that's such yeah. a good price. And they looked quite realistic, mm. didn't they? They didn't look too fake. And they're yeah. really tall, like really nice. I wouldn't mind one, but I just don't know where I'd put it. No, that's the thing, yeah. isn't it? So I picked one up the other weekend because I thought they were an absolute bargain. I thought, where do I put it? But again, they had more. They had more this time than when we went last mm. time. They had lots of like Easter spring bits. They had um, like Easter gonks. Yeah, loads of different yeah, things. Yeah, there seems to be a lot of gonks around yeah. don't they, since Christmas. But all know. in like the spring Easter colours, like mm. the pinks and the yellows. Um, from there, we went to Home Sense because I was on the hunt for a candle. We forgot we had a Costa coffee, didn't we, in between? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So before we left town, we went in Costa. I had a, me and my dad had a nice Rolo muffin. My mum was really good because she's doing Simon World and you're doing really well, aren't you? Mm. Um, you kind of stayed away from the cakes. But yeah, me and my dad couldn't resist the muffins. That was delicious. I think I did take a clip of that as well. So you hopefully would have seen that. 
But yeah, honestly, so nice. And it had like gooey caramel in the middle. It was a Brovolo one, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah so yeah. tasty. Um, then we went to Home Sense, another one of our favourites at the oh, minute. Home Sense, yeah. Um, I feel like it sounds like we went to lots of shops, but I don't feel like we were out that no. long. Just kind yeah. of like a quick whiz round. Um, I was on the hunt for a candle for my sideboard. Um, and we picked up a few, you picked up a few things in there too. Mm. And then we've come to mine because one of the items that I picked up is a mirror. Um, and my dad is going to kindly put it up for me. But let me show you what we picked up in pre-match to start with. Should we start with pre-match? Yeah, yeah. So I only picked one thing up in pre-match. And I picked up this lovely little acorn and this was four pound reduced to two pound and i just thought that was an absolute bargain and i think that's going to look really nice on my sideboard oh, love the, yeah, yeah love the color of it. Yeah, i should have got one because i picked one up first of all and it didn't have the reduced sticker on it just said four pound and it was literally just like on its own and then we went around a bit further and then i found a reduced shelf and they had these on there with a two pound sticker on um and they had little owls as well mm -hmm. the owls would look nice for yours yeah, both similar. yeah, um, yeah got some, I don't mind two pound i thought that was going to look super cute on my sideboard um yeah so i picked that up do you want to show them what you got in yeah I only, I only picked up a couple of little things wasn't it it's, uh, uh, it's just a, a scarf I liked in there. It's lovely and soft. Nice colours, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, nice soft colours. I look really nice work to what you've got on today, actually, go nice yeah, with. Nice and your coat you had on. But yeah, I wanted a scarf. I've got a coat that's got a like cream furry collar and I don't want to get any makeup on it. So I thought, yeah, that'd be ideal. Just put inside, just keep makeup off it. Good price. It's as lovely well, and isn't soft, it? yeah, so I'll get a lot of use out of that one. So that one was seven pounds. That was, yeah, good. that was seven, so that's very good. Oh, actually, um, that says seven euros. Oh, right, perhaps I didn't pay seven pounds then. Let's have a look at the receipt. Can I have a bargain? What does it say on there? It says seven euros. So. What did they charge me? Unless they just put the wrong. Um, Let's have a look. Yeah, it's seven euros. Oh, that's quite a lot. Yeah, it's quite a lot. Yeah, it's quite a lot. So it was six pounds. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, I never noticed that, Becky. Mm. And then I just picked up uh, some hair bands. These were only a pound. You can never have enough of those. No, well, I, I do like these bulldog clips. And I think that was two pound fifty. Yes, yeah, so that's all I got in Primark. They had lots of, it kind of was a lot of active wear, wasn't it? Yeah. I suppose with yeah. it being January and yeah. everyone kind of New Year's into resolutions fitness and fitness. And, yeah. Um, there was a lot of active wear as we went in. But because it was Saturday, it was just, it's always so busy in Primark, mm -hmm. isn't it? So I tried to take a few clips, but yeah, I don't think I did get many because there was just people everywhere. Yeah, um, I tried we, to be too yeah, busy. And we kind of just whizzed in, got what we wanted and whizzed out. Mm -hmm. So that was everything from Primark. Um, then we went to the range and I picked up a mirror um, for behind my sideboard. But I might have to take the camera over to show you that, so I'll show you that in a minute. So then we went to Home Sense, and in Home Sense, I picked up this candle again for my size board. Um, and this is a coconut, <laughs> this is a coconut and sandalwood scented candle. Um, it's a really nice size. If I take the glass off, nice fresh. Nice yeah, smell. and you can smell that straight away. Um, really, really nice smell. Now this was fourteen ninety nine. I did go in there the other week and I saw one that was eight ninety nine. but actually this is the perfect size for my sideboard. I love that you have the three wicks and it just honestly smells amazing. Um, so yeah, I picked up that. I'm really happy with that one. And then you picked up some books in Home Sense. Yeah, Sunday. I've been, as you know, if you follow my channel, I've been looking for something for my other window and I just saw these and I thought, oh, I like them. So the we've nice got Jane colours, there. Yeah, the nice colours together. And it's a lovely rubber case on the book. Can you feel that? Mm. It's all spongy and rubbery, yeah, isn't really it? Yeah, really nice, isn't it? So I love the spine I just on it. loved it and I thought that was really nice. And then I found these other two that I tried to pair a couple of other books up to go with it. And we can see the 
three colours. Just put them on, I don't know what they look like, like that, but I don't know how they're going to go in there and they might sort of stand them up or whatever, but I just but the thought colours the nice colours, like earthy tones, sort of, were quite nice. So I'll take them home and have a look, see what they look like. And again, this is a real nice Yeah, deal, so what's it? that, the, the ring legends of, was that Tolkien? Yeah. Yeah, David but again, David. it's a lovely rubberized you know, um, cover on the book. I thought that was really good. So that one was seven ninety nine. The good thing is they're really nice books, but yeah. they're really nice decal books as well. I got them for decal, but mm. yeah, let's have a look at them. This one was fourteen ninety nine. What is that one? I didn't actually notice what that one was. George then, Eliot, yeah. Middlemarsh. And then the Jane Eyre one is mm. twelve ninety nine. I thought that was a bargain, that mm. Jane Eyre one. But they look really nice in the mm. house, won't yeah. they, those colours? Hopefully. So I'll see when I get home. We've kind of been saying, haven't we, where as we maybe would go in the shop and think, oh, that's a really good price. Mm. We'd pick it up, have it as like decor, and then you kind of get fed up of it really easily. Whereas now we're trying to think of things that kind of... You're not going to get fed up. Yeah, that will last kind of longer, last so. It costs longer. a little bit more to start with. But you're happy with them. You're not always thinking, oh, well, you know, just to make do fill that space. Mm. Something you really want, even if you have to wait a couple of weeks to get it. At least, you know, it's And then you don't thing. need to change up. Something yeah. that can kind of be there all year round. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, look really nice. Yeah. So what I will do now is we're going to make a cup of tea. We're absolutely gasping for a cup of tea, aren't we? <laughs> uh, my dad's just in the living room watching TV. He's going to put up my mirror for me. Um... So Cassia I mean, like these. Yeah. She loves these paper, um, brown paper bags. Cassia the cat, honestly, if we put that on the floor, she yeah, will go crazy. Um, so yeah, maybe we'll go and pop that in the living room for her to play in. Um, so we're going to make a cup of tea, but what I'll do is I'll quickly move the camera and show you the mirror that I picked up. Um, honestly, this mirror is like an overmantel mirror, and I picked it up from the range, and it was $49.99. But I have spent the last probably... Since I've got the sideboard, so mm. since before Christmas, looking for a mirror this shape and this size. And the cheapest that I've managed to find online is like over £100. I think it's like, over, I think it's like £140 or something like that. So when we went in the range um, and I saw this for £49, it, pound, I just had to have it. And I know it's one of those things that is just going to go. Um, and obviously it's going to save me a lot of money. So I did pick it up. Let me go and show you what it looks like. And then my dad can pop it up for me and I can show you the finished look. You're going to start making the I drinks. I don't make the coffee in this here. I'm absolutely gasping. Let me show you. Oh, just put my finger across there. Let me show you the mirror. So this is the mirror. So this is an arch over mantle mirror with the thin black frame. And this is going to go behind my sideboard. This is, I think it's 100 centimetres by 70. Um, and yeah, this was 49.99 in the range. But like I said, online, they were so much more expensive. So my dad is going to kindly pop this up for me. Um, so hopefully in a minute, I'll be able to show you what it looks like. But yeah, honestly, I am so happy with this. And like I said, I wasn't aiming to go in there to pick up a mirror. Um, I've been looking online and kind of thinking, oh, I'll get that eventually. Um, but obviously, you didn't want to spend out a hundred and something pound in January, just after Christmas. But I saw this and I just thought this was such a good price. So yeah, I had to pick this up. I also just remembered, actually, I had these in the cupboard. So I ordered these from Shein. So if you are a regular on my channel, you will know that I always have Christmas cushions on my sofas from Shein. Um, and they're literally like a couple of pounds each. So when I took off the Christmas ones this year, I actually went on and ordered some normal ones for all year round. And again, I think these were like two, I think these ones were two forty nine each or something like that. And they've come and they're such lovely quality. They're really thick. Um, I wasn't too sure what they were going to look like. So I kind of just went for it and I'll see what they're like on the sofa. But at the moment, I really like the look of them. Now, these were meant to be two the same. So it was meant to be two um, of this colorway because obviously I'm trying to tie some black in with the black mirror. But they have come and I seem to have this one, which is a grey. Um, but for the price of them, I think I'm just going to go with it. And actually, it might be nice having the slightly different designs on them in the living room. So, yeah, I've already got the cushion pads. These are just simple polyester cushion pads, which I've had for a few years. Um, so, yeah, I've picked these up. 
Um, so yeah, let's see what these look like on. So this is before the mirror, and then I'll show you it once it's up. So this is the final look. I absolutely love this mirror. I think it just finishes it off really, really nicely, ties in the black. So if you are a regular on my channel, you will know that I bought this lamp a couple of weeks ago from HomeSense. Absolutely love that lamp. I then picked up this vase and flowers from The Range. Then my mum and dad kindly picked me up this um, wooden tray from the range. This is the same as what my mum has on her dining table and I absolutely loved it. I just think it brings some warmth into the room. Um, I've got two black candlestick holders, which I just thought tied in the black from the mirror. They are also from the range. I've got my little Acon, which I picked up today in Primark for £2. And then my candle, which is from HomeSense. But yeah, I absolutely love that. Like I said, the mirror in this, so this is the over mantle design mirror. And the one I was looking at was like a hundred and something pound online. And this was in the range for 49.99. I just love the shape of it. So yeah, let me know what you think of this. I just think it really finishes it off nicely. So this is the Shein cushion, this front one here. I really like that. I like how it ties in the black from on here. Um, and then, like I said, this one, they did send me in the wrong colour. But I think it looks okay for now. I may go on and see if I can change it. But I think the colours on that still go. Um, so yeah, this is the living room at the moment. Leo's still got all his toys down here. Um, but yeah, really liking the look of it. Loving my new mirror. So now we are going to pop down to my brother's to see him for a little bit. And then we are going back to my mum's for dinner. Um, so I think I am going to end this vlog here. I hope you have enjoyed watching. And I'll see you again in my next video. Goodbye, everyone.